Okay, it's seven grains of salt. Well, warning, this sign is only a distraction, and I'm here just to say, please, let's try to stay focused. I was in um, Enter the Stars the other day and wondering if I've been posting too much about World Health Organization, although I think it's been very important to see and hear what they are saying, especially since <laughs> alternate days they keep posting new videos and, and giving like little tidbits of what they are actually doing and saying of what is ahead. Well, even now here in Finland, um, yesterday they finally decided that the schools are going to be returning, or at least the pre-primary schools are going to go back 14th of May. They stated, the contribution of children to the spread of epidemic seems to be very small and that is the reason why they are going to send um, the kids back to school. Well I don't know about you but it's interesting isn't it because years past children have been at the top of the list when it comes to daily social contacts and making them most at risk for catching and spreading infections. So I'm wondering who is confused here or what exactly are they doing? And here is just one of the articles. Why, why kids top the list for spreading germs? And they actually did a survey with scientists. I'll add the link. I'm sure there are several more. Then there's others that clearly state that the worst is yet to come in the fall. Especially the Swedish health advisor uh, Johan Gisek in a video that was shared to me by a subscriber and I thank you even though he is untrustworthy to say that I don't trust anyone fully and especially him um, he's secular uh, he's Swedish <laughs> just kidding but I'll add the link if you care to listen to what he has to say and he clearly says the worst is yet to come so then it got me to saying, well, you know, I really want to do a show and reminding people to stay focused. But before I get to that, I want to go on to Honest News Network, and this is going to blow your hats off. So just sit tight and hear me out. Folks, I want to share with you how that fake news can be very dangerous news, okay? Rashard Buttar is actually going viral right now. In fact, he was just recently on a program called London Real, and it, this video was banned, okay? But I want you to see where he got his information from that is going viral, okay? This is very important. Let's just see how much time he spends letting people know where he got his information. And this is where he got the information from, okay? This is where he got it from, folks. Scroll down the page here and you'll find out these are socialists. Okay? If you do some deep research, you'll find out they're actually working with Russia. So who is Rashad Buttar that supposedly helped some uh, fraud uh, person that was saying that they uh, had gotten... Uh, a real bad disease of some sort from taking the flu shot. And it came out that they were actually faking it. And he was supposedly the one, Buttar, Dr. Buttar, was the one that actually helped this person to get better. Okay? Uh, but this video is going viral right now on uh, London Real. They've been banned. Videos are being banned. So who are these folks? They are socialists that are trying to destroy this country. That's what they're connected to, folks. The Center for Serenic Studies. Serenic Studies has to do with Marxism. There's Karl Marx, right? This is socialism. And these individuals say they support Donald Trump. Now, whether Donald Trump is one of these, I'm not sure fully, completely. I don't have the evidence to say he is. But they're sure saying that they support him. You see what's going on here? 
They are literally trying to make Donald Trump look like he's a socialist. If he may be, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if he is or not. But someone's trying very, very hard to destroy America. And it's being done through fake news. It's being done through misinformation. So he is absolutely right. I went and found this site and started to look. So I started to look at who the editors are. So let's look at Joachim Flores. What did I find? Well, I found this exactly here, and I'm going to read just a few lines from this um, article he wrote, 24th. So let's go down where I have highlighted. And you can read this. I'll add the, all the links. Only those who have not lost contact with tradition, the link with the land, the cult of the layers, who find continuity in culture of our country and the Catholic tradition of the tradition and in dissoluble family, the cornerstone of the community will be able to resist what will be. So not to get further into that, let's look at who Dr. Rashid Buttar is. Well, I don't know a lot about him, but all I can see is a lot of symbolism on his book. You see the number six, you see the apple. Well, he came into public um, after that, which is exactly what he was saying in 2009 when Desiree Jennings claimed she had lost her ability to walk due to a flu shot. So he intravenously gave her hydrogen peroxide. Here's a picture of her. I found two videos on her and I'll add the links of her having this and then basically finding out that it was all fake from what they could tell. A hoax or it was all in her head, whichever it is. But here is on his Facebook page. So what do you see? Well, he's pro-Trump. He's been on apparently all these TV networks. So there's two major red flags for me. But you can make up your mind um, just saying I don't trust anyone at this point. Um, trust only in God. I went through a few of his Facebook pictures and I found this uh, doctor, Dr. Bruce Lipton. So who is he? Well, he's a part of science and spirituality. Um, his quote, the new physics provides a modern version of ancient spirituality. Uh, everything entangled, everything is one. Sound familiar? One. They want everything, everyone to be as one. And then, of course, I see the pineal gland. Well, he's a new ager and so much more, but I'm not here to go into him. Um, then we also have Dr. Shiva, who I'd like to look at really briefly. He was romantically involved with Fran Dresser. Um, at one point, apparently invented email. Um, he chose Dharma in 1975, which is basically Hinduism, Buddhism, all these others. Um, he's seen in Hollywood with all these other famous people, and he's also been on TV shows. So these two doctors are the ones that are being pushed on all Christians, as I'm seeing, or that they are listening to these two doctors that are viewed on TV shows, Infowars, and are pro-Trump. I don't know, to me, both of these gentlemen are just like Alex Jones and Dan Bongino. They are left-right, it's the left-right paradigm, it's controlled opposition basically. This is what they're throwing at us. I'm just saying we should not be listening to either of them. Um, make your own judgments. Listen, yes, but don't be so quick to trust these people. I, I just don't, I don't trust them. That's all I'm saying. So before I end it, like I promised, let's listen to a short clip of Sor Service Christi reminding us to stay focused. Uh, again, in Psalm 39 and verse 5, we read, Indeed, you have made my days as handbreadths, and my age is as nothing before you. Certainly, every man at his best state is but a vapor. At his best state, at your best state, or my best state, we are but a vapor. If you're so fortunate and blessed to get 80 to 100 years on this earth, it is still but a vapor. 
A hundred years is a drop in the bucket of eternity. How much more ought you to consider your life when it's not in its best state? Because most people don't get a hundred years on this earth, and even that would be but a vapor. There's a reason that Jonathan Edwards once prayed, Lord, stamp eternity on my eyelids. There's a reason that Leonard Ravenhill had etched into his tombstone, are the things that you're living for worth Christ dying for? You have this one life, and you don't know what tomorrow will bring. The world, the flesh, your flesh, the devil, they're all conspiring against you to distract you from what is important, from those things which are eternally important. They are all conspiring to keep you from more intimate communion and fellowship with God. They are all conspiring to involve you in trivialities. The world, the, the devil is concocting new wiles by the second, and he doesn't sleep. And our culture we're so saturated. We've been, we've been trained virtually in the art of distraction. Following shiny things like magpies left and right. You can even become distracted with things that are, relatively speaking, important. How much are you invested in eternity? Because if you're more invested in this life, You've got it exactly backwards. This life is a stewardship. Yes, you should care. Yes, you should be invested, but not to the extent that you're forsaking eternal investments because all that's going to matter that's done here is what is done here in light of eternity. So in closing, I just wanted to remind everyone that do not trust man. Even the word of God says do not trust man because they are not to be trusted, especially not even those that are Christian, not Christian. I'm having a hard time even trusting those that are saying they are Christian and are still leading everyone to the wide path. Trust in God throughout this whole chaos and just stay stay in peace and the only way you can do that is with Christ God bless till next time have a great day